tricky. Try it. Try it. Sorry. What is the problem? We want to do something over there. Okay, um, wait, let me attach okay, myself. Sir, take a minute, sorry, sorry. I'm coming, sir. Samuel, what's it? What do you want? Talk to me. Eh? I don't understand. Do you want something? I should do what? Please! Carry everything! Don't kill any of us! Ah! You have just committed an offense. And that is begging me not to kill. I must shed blood anywhere I appear. Hmm? Yeah. I'll take the money just like you have said, but blood must also flow. Mm! I am supposed to kill the father and the mother of this house. But because you just begged me not to kill and to take just the money, there's an urgent need for me to add one extra person to the list. Mission in progress! Yeah. <laughs> 
Young lady, who are you to the deceased? I am the only daughter and the first child of the family. How can you describe the robbery gang? Or is there any information you have that can assist us in our investigation? All I can remember is that only their boss covered his face. So after he shot my parents and my brother, he dropped that picture on them. Ijalo. Again? How best do we get the identity of this notorious armed robber? A murderer who is terrorizing the whole state. Hello, sweet. How is your hand? Mm. No, it's just that I'm I'm seriously missing you. Yeah, I understand. Well, I just I just called to tell you. You mean so much to me. I love you. Hello. Please, Please can, can you help, help me find, find someone, someone to set these people, people free, free from, from this captivity? You mean to set them free? Yes. yes. Uh -uh. Why do I need to look for someone to do that? I can as well do it. I mean, I can set them free. I have a master key in my hand that can open any lock. See. Out now. Ah. Don't you want to be set free? Ah. Hey. Baba, wonders are never handle. It's like these ones don't want to be set free at all. It seems they are enjoying themselves, even in bondage. That's, That's why I need someone, someone who can, can set them, them free. free. I know I you know have the master key with you, you. but someone, someone who knows exactly what, what to tell them that will make them realize that they are in bondage, bondage. And, and their, their willingness, willingness to leave the place. And who is that man that knows exactly what to tell them? That's, That's why, why I need you. you. And there's and a purpose, purpose for that. that. Go, go and, and find, find him. him. Go, go and find him. I should go and find him? Yes. yes. So, that's the revelation God showed me. Hmm. And when I prayed and fasted about it, the Lord made me to understand that there is a vessel he has prepared for our next open air crusade. So, I am not going to be the one to minister at the next uh, Gospel to the Streets program. Um, Pastor, if I may ask, how are we going to get this special vessel you are talking about? Yes. yes. 
Well, the Lord led me to a TV program where I watched a man of God preached. And uh, his message that day actually proved that he is the chosen vessel for our next program. I watched him on uh, a channel, ARTV. Who is this man of God you are talking about? That's a good question. Well, uh, I've not met him one on one. Uh, but I will want to invite all of you to come to my house in Moe, where we can easily access that TV channel. All of us will watch this man of God preach on TV. Uh, his program comes up every Saturday by 4 p.m. So please, I want all of you to make out time to come to my house in Moe so that we can watch the man of God and uh, take our decision whether to go ahead to invite him or not. Let us pray. Just that um, the geo took much time to share a revelation with us, and um, we also took time to discuss it over with him. That is also okay. Hope the revelation is not all that serious. Uh, no, 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 no. Just for the growth of the church. Okay, okay, okay. Kami, Kami, yes, mommy, daddy is back. Daddy, welcome back. How are you doing? How are you, sir? How are you doing? How was the meeting, sir? The meeting was okay. Thank God. Oh, okay. Daddy is hungry. So go and take the food in the plastic uh, container and warm it in the microwave. Okay. Ma Do that on time, please. Please, hurry up. Huh? Yes, hurry up, hurry up. So, maybe you will explain some of the things to the staff. Yes, yeah. yes, sir. Is this how you people use the microwave? I mean, warming edible things with a plastic container? Is there anything wrong with it? Yes, dear. Something is wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Listen. Whenever you warm edible things in the microwave with plastic containers like this, yes. it allows some chemical substance called dioxin and bisalion to get emitted into the food mm -hmm. through the heat process. And you know what? Yes, These chemicals cause cancer. Cancer? Jesus, you know, I'm hearing this for the very first time. Kemi, Ma? henceforth, we will be using ceramic container to warm our food. Though. No chemical in this home. Ah, thank you, Jesus. So, so hurry up, hurry up. Put the food inside the ceramic container and warm it quickly because Daddy is starving. Please, hurry up. Eh? Please, hurry up. Hurry up. Ah, thank you. Thank you for educating us. Please. Hey, cancer, chemical, bisphenol, ah. You see, one thing that impressed me about the state of the church these days is the development and the way the lives of people are being transformed. Yes, sir. It gives me more strength to continue In fact. to give him my time resources and everything for the open. In fact, the Lord is really doing wonders in our church and I pray for the pastor. The Lord will continue to give you the anointing. That is our prayer. 
because it's very, very necessary. Please, let's go to the dining room. Okay. The baby is ready. that uh, the Holy Spirit just reminded me of a Christian TV program that I watched at Ibadan when I traveled the other time. And um, what about it? In fact, the man of God that preached on that program was exceptionally anointed. Mm. His name is Evangelist um, Akande, popularly known as Akande Olodumare. Evangelist Akande? Yes. Akande Olodumare? Yes. Which of the TV channel was the program held? I think on ARTV, ARTV, around 4 o'clock on Saturday, or thereabout. ARTV? Yes. 4 o'clock on Saturday? Yes, 4 o'clock. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. How do you mean? The Spirit of God is one. The Geo just invited us to his house in Norway, yeah. where we're to watch the same minister you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are planning to invite him for our gospel to the street uh, crusade. We're planning for this year. Very good. That open air crusade. Yeah. It's very good. Oh. The Holy Spirit is one. You are right. This is who in this country. How can a senator hold this kind of statement like this? Oh, now today, it is a day there because of me or you. I bet you that side of the job. Ah. Plus, <laughs> he gather and gang robs and kill as usual. This is a lawyer again. How can a man terrorize the whole state and they could not even track him? Not these days. Look at another story in a again. <laughs> Policy, then they lie. When they could not get the Jalo for Lagos, how do you expect me to get Boko Haram for notice? You see, Anna? Ah, ah, see, see, see. see. <laughs> Hello, my viewers. This is another day on Moment of Truth. I want you to listen to me carefully as God pours his heart to you one more time. Hmm. Friends, Look at this pen. It's a very good multifunctional pen that I got from UK with a token of 500 pounds. Oh, you look at it, you say to yourself that this is a common pen. <laughs> it appears like the pen you see on daily basis. No, it's different. This is a special pen, honestly. You see, I got it for 500 pounds and that is more than 200,000 Naira. Let me tell you a few things about this pen. You see, this pen is a multifunctional pen, like I said. This pen can write in many colors. It can record videos 
an audio for as long as five hours. It can serve as MP3 player and FM radio player. Is it a good pen? I'm sure you said yes. Now watch what I'm going to do to my valuable pen. Oh, you are amazed. <laughs> you are already calling me names like a fool, a destroyer, a waster, maybe an idiot too. Well, you are free to call me whatever you like. But come to think of it, this pen belongs to me. I own it. I can choose to do whatever I want with it. Can anyone query me? Definitely no. Now look at me here. You are like this precious pen to God. God created you for a purpose. You are precious in His hands. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by Him. I want you to know that God owns your life. And it can do whatever it chooses to do with it. If it decides to terminate your life now, who will query him? Look, let me tell you the truth. God preserves you to be alive today for a purpose. And that purpose is to make him happy. That purpose is nothing but to make God himself happy. Because you are his creature. God preserves you to be alive for a purpose, which is to make him happy, I emphasize. Is your life giving God gain or pain? No, you should answer that. I'm asking you, is your life giving God gain or pain? Let me ask you this question. If you die today, where do you think you will end up? Where will you spend your eternity? Oh. My brother and sister, God is interested in you. That sin you think you are enjoying today is like a sweet poison. Hey, it is a passport to eternal destruction. You see, I want you to give your life to Jesus today because tomorrow may be too late. You don't need to procrastinate. What if you sleep today and you don't wake up tomorrow? Where will you spend your eternity? Well, I have said it. May God bless you. See you again next week. But before I go, I want to pray with you. My God in heaven, I commit these people into your hands. Okay. <laughs> um, brethren, I am convinced this indeed is the vessel for the assignment. Or what do you think? This is great. I think we have gotten a special minister for the gospel on the street for this year. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is great. I think we are on the line. Well, glory to God for his grace upon this man of God. I, I think we have gotten the man we need for this program. So uh, let the secretary prepare the letter so that we can send it to him immediately. God bless you all. Amen. Ah, baby, I'm sorry for coming late. I couldn't get this night day around. So I had to go to the next bus stop to get everything. Sunji, ah. I'm sorry. I have to leave. Leave? Why? Are you so angry with me? I guess that I'm sorry, Abby. I'm not angry for the delay. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. <laughs> Who is here with us? Nobody, of course. You are wrong. <laughs> Someone is here. 
this year with us. I just discovered he owns my life. <laughs> and he can decide to terminate it anytime. I want to stop fornicating around. I want to live my life for God. And stop breaking his heart. I realize he loves me. And he has been sparing my life for a purpose. Which is to make him happy. And not to give him sorrow. Which I've been doing. <laughs> and what's all this nonsense talk now? My mind is made up. You have to make up your mind. God owns your life. Tomorrow may be too late for you. can one study in school to become a pastor or a prophet? Um, there's a place they call the seminary or the theology school where people study to become pastors. But you have to first study and become successful in the chosen career. We have great men of God in Nigeria that were first successful in their careers before thinking of um, becoming pastors. People like Pastor Kumuyi, Pastor Lukoya, Pastor Ye Adeboye, Reverend Dr. Shukwa Yokuli. You know, they were first successful in their careers before becoming successful as a pastor in the or in the area of their ministry. So do you understand what I just said? Thank you, Mom. You are welcome, Harry. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you for this food. We appreciate you for the provision. Lord, sanctify this for in the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yeah. how was the day? Oh, great. Wonderful. Uh-uh. -oh. Only. Oh. <laughs> oh. I want to thank you. Why? Uh, for this uh, sumptuous meal. So delicious. Thank you, dear. I think you should also appreciate my darling Samuel. He was with me in the kitchen all through the day, supervising the cooking. Mm hmm. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Supervisor. <laughs> Sam, Sam. That's my son. Daddy, mm. mommy, don't let us sleep at home tonight. Ah. Why? 
Yeah, 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 we would rather pray for an hour to avert any evil that we want to come upon us. Hmm? Even if you are going to be any, right? We can't just go and waste any money in any hotel. I'm going to sleep here, hmm? No evil, right? Our Father in heaven, as we are about to sleep now, send your angel to protect us. Amen. Let no evil befall us. Is the money? Money? The money you collected from the bank this afternoon by 2 p.m. Money? I, I guess there's a mess up somewhere. I never. Mr. Ma, I'm not here to play. I mean serious business. I will ask you for the last time. Where is the money? No money. Oh God. Oh, speak up! Speak up! No. Speak up! Inside the one you plan to convert to dollar. So, in your mind, you believe you can deceive me, guys. Follow him inside. Move this way, this way. Have you confirmed me? Yes, confirm, sir. the bank please please <laughs> madam thank you for your cooperation but you no. I hate you ah. I hate you okay hey yeah madam ah yeah okay. madam, stay back <laughs> ah Prefer to that. Mm, mm. Ah. It's your choice. No.
SKD Mission in Progress I want you all to be committed to this mission which is to steal, to kill and to destroy. You must not forget that we must kill at least two people every week. Mm! Stealing is just by the way. Killing is the target. SKD. Mission in progress. Now, this is the warning. I can perceive the voice of the whole. I want you to be vigilant because the Yoroko may fall. My drink. Let me be. I am not in the mood for all that. What's up with you? I don't think I want to continue dating a guy I do not know by face. For crying out loud, you have refused to reveal your identity to me. Even if you think that revealing your identity to others is, is dangerous. What about me? Me, your girlfriend. Now tell me, are you interested in me or my face? Thank <laughs> you. 
bastard. Yes, Pisa. We are the boys now, sir. Okay, okay. You are coming with them. Please, it's enough, sir. Now I have him. His image. Captured, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well done. He shared the shishi. Now we can work with this. Mm. Yeah. We are good to go.
the GTTS is about to start. And this year, God has prepared a special vessel for us. A great man of God, with a great anointing, and passion for souls. This man of God has special grace and anointing for soul winning. So, with Jesus' joy in my heart, I want us to give honor to whom honor is due. As I invite the man of God, who is going to declare open this year's GTTS with a short exhortation. Join me as I welcome Evangelist Amoni. Shout hallelujah! to be in your midst today. I am most honored. I want to thank God for the light of the pastorates uh, for inviting me. I know that God wants to do something special for you. And that which God has planned to do for you, you'll get it in Jesus' name. Yeah. I give all the glory to God. So I sing. All the glory must be to the Lord. For Shall never hand you. This man with the key for Lagos, they rob. The man they preach at Ibadan ah. inside the television. I better make I see. Ah. This is Jaloga, a wicked guy. <laughs> hey? He has killed many people. Now they're born again. Don't they preach inside television? Which can't born again? 
If you say no understand you, this man they kill, they rob, they kill people. And he's still a preacher at Ibadan. Mrs. Chinelo, no scatter my head. You mean this Ijalo guy, he they steal for Lagos? Yes. They kill for Lagos? Yes. At the same time, they preach for Ibadan? Yes. Hey? Huh? Chimo! Hey! There is God though. Atlas. Scorpion. Yes, boss. Weapon. And you. Boss, there is fire on the mountain. Baba, you get another identity for public. Boss, are we safe? <sighs> Guys, give me some time to think about this. <clears throat> I greet you all, my viewers across the nation. I am sure that you're surprised to see me this way. I'm surprised to find myself in this situation as well. I was arrested and asked to claim the identity of the person I do not know from Adam. I am an evangelist ordained by God to preach the gospel. But today, I am arrested for armed robbery. They said I'm the notorious armed robber, killing and terrorizing people in Lagos. Ha! Ha! I accepted to say this on this program because I am under duress. Besides, I believe there is something in the heart of God for permitting this to happen to me. Now, if you are the notorious armed robber, popularly known as Ijalo, I want you to know that I am arrested and maltreated for your sake. He's the one. Oh my God. This man? Oh. Ah. Daddy. Look at this man. Ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah. Ah. Mm. He's suffering for what he doesn't know anything about. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, Daddy! The video is here. I downloaded it from the YouTube. I see. Okay, put it, let's watch. I 
I will ask my technical crew to upload this episode to YouTube and other social media platforms until it gets to you. The notorious handover, the Jalo, or whatever they call you. I want you to know that if I die in the course of this experience, my blood is upon you, except you give your life to Jesus Christ. If I may ask you, how did you get yourself into this? At what point in your life was your destiny manipulated? Okay, This one for cigar. You buy three. Then you buy two for charger. No charger. Charger. Hmm? Charger. Charger. You are going to buy it. I am sorry, Uncle. I have never done this before. I am a child of God. What are you doing? Eh? My friend, she is not going to buy it. Come on, go and buy it. Go and go and go and go and go and go and buy something for me. You are going to buy something. Sweet orange! Sweet orange! Orange seller! Hey, my dear! I want to buy orange. God bless you! 500. Okay. Please hold it for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks very much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, help me. Okay. Sweet orange! Sweet orange! Yeah. Sweet orange! 
Seat orange. Seat orange. Summer. Summer. I found this in your bag. Where, where did you get it from? It fell from someone. And you picked it up? Why didn't you return it to the owner? I felt that I would need it for secondary school. Samuel, you are not supposed to pick up things that doesn't belong to you. That is stealing and you are not a thief. You are a prophet to nations. Do you understand? Whenever you find things on the floor, you pick them up and you return them to the owner or you don't pick up at all. You are for signs and wonders, okay? Alright, that's my boy. Um, how are you doing with your own work? Sweet orange. orange Sweet orange Orange My dear The money fell down Ah, thank you very much Your God will bless you Why dog bow? I want you to know that God loves you. He can still forgive you. Even if your sins are like scarlet, give your life to Him so that my suffering will not be in vain. Please. Guys, I think it's very obvious we are not safe anymore. <laughs> Besides, we don't know the true identity of our boss. Uh, how can we tell that this man is not saying the right thing? I want to suggest here that the boss should reveal his real identity to us. Or we all go out and never return here again. Yes. yes. Very good. I support that. Exactly like me. Anyway, I am the notorious hand robber that everyone is looking for. Here is the Jalob standing before you. I received your message and my heart met down. Since then, I've been disturbed in my spirit. I found my way here so that I can make a request of you for something. Please. Can you lead me to Christ? Just pray for me so that God will have mercy on me. I still wonder why we look this alike. Okay. Anyway, the most important thing now is the salvation of your soul. I want to encourage you to stand firm in your decisions. Go to God to help you rearrange your destiny and make you what you are supposed to be. For me. I know that I'm like John the Baptist who prepared the way for the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I know this is one of the reasons why I am unhurt. But please, please, just know that you are to continue. My assignment of making impact and giving light to the nations. Making impact and giving light to the nation? Huh. I will do this. God, God will help you. Qu quickly say after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I realize I've been breaking your heart through unforgiveness. I realize I've been breaking your heart through unforgiveness. I come to you today for the remission of my sins. I have come to you today for the remission of my sins. Lord in my hands. Lord, I'm coming. I allowed unforgiveness to thwart my destiny. Coming, oh my God. Coming, oh my God. Oh my God. I give my life to you, Lord. Lord I'm coming. I forgive those who killed my parents. Lord, I'm coming home. The path I see is no longer true. Lord, I'm coming home. Red, scarlet, it may be deep, scarlet, it can be white, scarlet, it may be red, scarlet, it may be deep, scarlet, it can be white, scarlet, it may be red, scarlet, it may be deep, scarlet, it can be white, scarlet. Fair, I am fair. Poor. Poor. The child of Mr. and Mrs. Agbaje. 
The child of Mr. and Mrs. Agbaje. Ayomide. Ayomide. Oluwa Femi. Oluwa Femi. Ayomide. Ayomide. Paul. Paul. The child of Mr. and Mrs. Agbaje. The child of Mr. and Mrs. Agbaje. We stand here today to declare that from today, this baby shall be called Ayomide. Ayomide. Oluwa Femi. Oluwa Femi. Ayomide. Paul. Oh. The child of Mr. and Mrs. Agbaje. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us close our eyes to pray. Father, we praise you because of this baby. Thank you for his coming. Thank you for everything surrounding his birth. May your name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. May you please release your grace upon his life to live a fulfilled life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, may you please send your power and strength upon his life to live according to your will and purpose in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, eternal Father. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Mr. and Mrs. Agbaje, permit me to challenge you briefly. This baby, Paul, is a special child. And you must see him as a special child. That is the reason why we are having this ceremony at such a special hour like this. He is a prophet. He has been ordained by God to affect lives here on earth. So I want to challenge you to fulfill your own responsibilities concerning his life by giving him adequate and appropriate training that will make him what God wants him to be. May the Lord help you to do so in Jesus' name. Amen. As a result of that, we are adding two names to his names. Number one, Olorun ni mi lo. Olorun ni mi lo. Number two, Samuel. Those two names are very, very significant to his life and ministry. May the Lord help him to fulfill ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. And may the Lord also help you to train him in the way of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I called all this about 30 years ago when I could not conceive to give birth to a child. My husband mugged me. He accused me of not wise as a matron in, in a specialist hospital. Honey, what do you want me to prepare for our breakfast tomorrow? I ask, so I can shop for it while coming from work tomorrow morning. Honey, I'm talking to you. Is anything wrong? Yes. My dear, use your brain. Use your brain and get a child for this family. Or else. To use my professional privilege to get us a child? Ha! I yielded to my husband's cancer and I manipulated the delivery of a particular woman. Matron, Alpha. It's unfortunate. The second baby was dead from the womb. Ah! Ah! Shit! Though we have evacuated the remains of the baby from the womb, we, we did all our best to ensure the safety of your wife. And how is she now? She's very much okay now. Oh, good. good. Uh, can I see her? Sure, sure. Okay. We can.
husband and I claim to people that we eventually got a child. I took a conde to Ibadan, where he was raised by my godly mother. Though I told him about his uh, biological parents, but never told him the nitty gritty. My, my new life in Christ will not allow me to keep quiet over this. And that's why I made an inquiry to locate this place. Mommy. But you never told me I have a twin brother. Maybe he's the notorious hand robber. This is serious. I'm overwhelmed here. So, Idalo is somewhere else. How do we now get this notorious armed over? A murderer. Until we are arresting, you can never be released. So, we have to start all over again. Pastor, we pray. receive punishment for my mischief. I refuse to forgive those who kill my parents. So, I took revenge on innocent people. <sighs> now, that I have surrendered my life to Christ, I Ready for the consequences of my actions. This is serious. I'm short of words. But, young man, why did you have to do what you did? Eh? Why did you allow unforgiveness to give birth to bitterness in your heart? To the extent that you have to begin to take revenge on innocent people just because of the death of your parents. Oh my God. I know I have heard. I know I have killed innocent people. Yes, I know. But I don't know whether God can forgive me. I don't know. Hmm. Is this serious? Well, I'm happy to hear that you have surrendered your life to Christ. Huh? No, I want you to know today that no matter how sinful you are, even if your sins, they are as red as scarlet, they shall be made whiter than snow by the precious blood of Jesus and the mercy of the Almighty God. Show me a man without Christ. And I will show you a man with a wicked heart. Truly, 
A life without Christ will be full of crisis. <laughs> Beloved, it is better you surrender your life to Christ today before it is too late. Because the devil, the arch enemy of man, is still in the business of stealing, killing, and destroying people's destinies. Don't wait until the devil destroys your glorious destiny. It is the devil that manipulates people to do evil and to do things against their creator. God loves you. He loves sinners, but hates their sins. But if you can repent and turn away from your sins today, he will accept you. So why don't you return unto him today and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Don't forget, though your sins may be as red as scarlet, but they shall be made whiter than snow by the blood of Jesus. Scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Jesus would never say no. Come on to him. Though your sins are red as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Jesus would never say no. Come on. What Jesus said, come unto you. Oh, ye that labor, I will give you rest. That's what Jesus said, come on. Are red as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Jesus would never say no. Come on to you. Though your sins are red as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Jesus would never say no. Come on to you.
I will give you rest. That's what Jesus said. Come unto him. Oh, ye that labor, I will give you rest. That's what Jesus said.